Unsung heroes from across Sefton and West Lancashire were honoured at a glittering awards ceremony as more than 130 people packed into Southport Theatre and Convention Centre for the Community Heroes Awards 2009. The annual awards recognise the selfless acts and works of individuals, schools and organisations from across the region. Dignitaries including the Mayor of Sefton, Councillor Alf Doran, and the First Mayor of West Lancashire, Councillor Jeff Roberts, joined guests for a drinks reception and three-course meal in the centre's waterfront suite. The heroes and their friends and families were also entertained by the Formby High School Gospel Choir. The awards, sponsored by Scottish Power, were organised by the various media mix titles in the region, as well as Rotary Clubs across Sefton and West Lancashire. And receiving a special award on the night was former group editor of Trinity Mirror's weekly titles across Merseyside, Jane Daly, without whom the awards wouldn't be the success they are. And welcome on stage, Jane Daly, to receive her. <laughs> Southport came away with nine winners on the night. Steve Hall's son Chris died of sudden adult death syndrome when he was just 25, and Steve has become determined that other families should not go through the same trauma. He has organised this summer's Jedi Music Festival in a bid to raise awareness of the condition. Hilary Arnold founded the Southport and District branch of the Parkinson's Disease Society, which now has nearly 100 members, while Nicholas Fern raised more than £2,000 for the British Heart Foundation when he drove to Greece in a van powered by waste chip fat and cooking oil. Southport College student Raoul Thomas used all his first aid skills to save the life of a woman who became trapped between a car and a wall following a road traffic accident. Captain Eric Lewis, at 92, is the oldest active caseworker in the whole of the Royal British Legion, covering an area from Banks to Ainsdale. And the one-line put-down from Glaswegian postmaster John Inglis was all it took to send an armed robber fleeing from his shop. Nicky Playstow and Claire Thursfield, from Sainsbury's, have been instrumental in the store raising thousands of pounds for local good causes. While Mark, Jonathan and Alistair Cunningham and their friend Tony Jones entered the record books when they cycled from Land's End to John O'Groats in a quadricycle, raising thousands of pounds for Queen's Court Hospice and the British Limbless Ex-Servicemen Association in the process. And this group of teenagers from Tarleton High School saved the life of a friend who fell through the ice in a frozen reservoir as he tried to retrieve a football. This evening, the Mayor of Sefton paid tribute to all the night's winners. The loss of a loved one. We, we, we've got an awful lot in the media about bad news and things that are, people are doing bad things. So to come tonight and to actually be present when there's a lot of people actually being awarded for doing good deeds and for being able to make a massive positive contribution to our society and our community here in Sefton and in West Lancashire, it is wonderful to be a part, to be a guest here tonight.